What's up, what's up, my YouTube family? How are y'all doing? You are back with your girl, Caramel Diva, and Curtis. We are cooking our version tonight. Our version. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know all the hype is over. All the hype is over about the Popeye spicy chicken sandwich. I'm late. Okay, don't come for me in the comment section. I'm late. It's okay. Because tonight, we are doing my version of the Popeye's chicken, spicy chicken sandwich. Okay? All my new subscribers, I just want to tell you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the family. If you haven't subscribed yet, what you waiting for, girl? You better go on and click that subscribe button and quit playing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well to make sure you are updated with all of our upcoming videos and you're make sure you're notified in other words so tonight as i said earlier we're going to go ahead with our spicy chicken sandwich and i've already cut up let's 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 get to this video i have already cut up some Roma tomatoes. If you want to use tomatoes on the vine or whatever have you, whatever floats your boat, that's what you use. Again, this is my version. I've also cut up some onions, as you can see. And then my producer, Curtis, has already um, cleaned our lettuce here. He's already done that. So that will be all ready to go. We, uh, did that ahead of time so that'll be all ready to go now I have some chicken breasts I am using let me see if you guys can see this I just dropped my butter I'm using regular chicken breast okay so far I've cut up it was four pack a four pack I've cut up two and I've sliced them down the middle so that um, it makes two and um, I'm going to pound them out so that they're nice and tender. Take out a little aggression on these things. And um, I'll show you how I did that. I just placed them here in a, there's one, two, three, four. Place them in a Ziploc bag, freezer bag. And I'm going to take, I don't know if you can see that, this part of the mallet, the little spiky part of the mallet. You got your flat side and you got your spiky side. And I'm just going to pound that. I want to pound out like the, the thicker um, sections. Of the chicken breast. I don't want to make them too thin. But I want to pound them out some. Okay. I think that that's actually pretty good right there. I think that that's good. You know, one of get that in there. So I also have some buttermilk and I'm going to take some buttermilk and I'm going to place it in my pan. I'm going to put this on top of here and um, I'm going to pour some buttermilk and eggs. I'm going to get myself about three eggs, two, two to three eggs. I want to save some of this buttermilk because well, I guess I can get some more, but I want to make some buttermilk biscuits. So that was the purpose of getting the buttermilk to begin with. Alrighty. Get my little trash back over here. And I'm going to get me some eggs. I'm just going to do three eggs. And I'm going to crack them right on into the buttermilk. Like so. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to season this buttermilk. Okay? I'm going to go in with some... It's a spicy, so I'm going to go in with some hot sauce. Use any brand that you prefer. I've got Louisiana hot sauce, a little bit left in here. 
I don't measure. So that was the rest of it. Y'all pray for my mouth. <laughs> and I'm gonna season my buttermilk because I'm not gonna season the chicken itself, if that makes any sense. I'm just gonna season the flour. So I'm gonna season this chicken with the quad. Got some season all. Is that chicken? <laughs> Hmm? You said I'm gonna I said I'm gonna season the chicken. I'm gonna season the buttermilk. Sorry. I'm gonna season the buttermilk with some seasonal, some black pepper. This is a restaurant style black pepper. I think to me it's a little more coarse than the regular ground black pepper. And it's too hot. You think it's too hot? Yeah, like if you put it like on let's just say a burger or something, you you really taste it and it's hot in my mouth. Garlic With powder. My taste buds. You guys know what the quad is by now. For Can't my forget. newbies, if you don't know what the quad is, you'll get to know. Just stick around. Stick around. You'll know what the quad is. All right. And then I'm just going to give this a whisk to make sure that those eggs are beaten really well into the buttermilk and that your seasonings are nice and incorporated into the buttermilk as well. And then as we, we're just going to let these soak in here. Had I thought about this, had I thought about um, doing this before this morning, <laughs> then I would have soaked these overnight because that's probably the best way to soak them overnight. But I just thought about this this morning and I had hubby take everything out for me. And yeah, so here we are. Now, if you want to just mix up your egg on a separate bowl and pour it in here, you can do that as well. Okay. So, I'm going to take the four that I've done. You're getting a good full picture of that. That I've already done. And I'm just going to dunk them right on in. And then we're going to cut up the other two. Wait in the mixture. Yes, they going swimming. So I'm going to stick this to the side. So I can cut up the other two here. Now, I want to cut up some on camera so that you can see. Um, I, I want to... You want to take off some of the fat. My little trash. As much as you, as much as you want. If you want to leave it on there, listen. Your kitchen, your way. My kitchen, my way. But I'm going to try to take off as much as I can. Just trim it up a little bit. What I can't get off, I just can't get off. And that's just what it is. So I hope you guys had a blessed and wonderful day today. This is me and my husband's anniversary weekend. Whoop, whoop. We got married on um, October 20th of 2018. So this Sunday is our anniversary. Got a couple little two, three things planned. A couple little two, three things. Not much. Just a couple of two, three things, you know. That we'll get into keeping it simple. We're not doing anything extravagant. We're going to keep it simple. And then on Sunday, uh, I'll probably do another video of our dinner 
which is going to be some homemade chicken fried steak. So you guys make sure you come back for that video. I got a lot of video ideas right now. As you guys saw, I just kind of took that thick side, the thicker side, and I cut from there. It don't have to be perfect. Just cut it in half and you're good to go. And then we're going to put them back in the same bag that we had earlier. Lay them flat. And go to work on them boys. Gonna go to work on them boys. Does anybody feel bad for the chicken but is still going to eat it? <laughs> That's how I feel. Comment down below if you feel that way. <laughs> Listen. You cut it if you want to. I'm going in. That one looks a little thicker. And I think Popeye's used brioche bread, you guys, if I'm not mistaken. They use brioche bread. And I think my bread is uh, a Kaiser roll. So, not quite a brioche, but a Kaiser roll. Just trying to be better. This missed my version. I'm doing it the way I want it. If I want to use square Wonder Bread <laughs> and toast it, I could do that. With bacon on the oven. Bacon would be good too. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Now. All right. I'll More stop chicken. that. For the sake of the video, I'll stop. So, we'll take these out of here and we're going to put them in the same mixture here just get it in there and you want to let this soak because we're you know for time's sake you know if you plan to head I would say let this soak for about an hour or two, you know, if you won't eat it this evening. Or like if you planned ahead and, you know, you were, you thought about this last night like I should have. And I would say let this, you know, soak like this overnight <laughs> cover, let it soak overnight. But for the sake of time, we're just going to let this soak in here for about 15 to 30 minutes while we um, get the rest of our stuff together. So I'm going to put this to the side. It's all in, as you can see. It's all in there. They're all in. Are you in or are you out? Are you in or are you out? Has to sneeze. Okay, so I'll put this to the side. And in this container, I have, um, I need probably another, give me just a spoon, please. Y'all see my collar rolls I got on sale? Well, these are Talera rolls. So I don't know what the difference is. Well, but they look the same to me. These say Kaiser rolls. So I guess maybe Tolera rolls may be the same thing. But guess what? They was 99 cents. Got that sale. So this has flour. And it also has some um, cornstarch in it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to season this cornstarch and flour mixture really, really well. We want to see our ingredients. And we're going to start with Jesus cayenne pepper. As I said, please pray for my mouth. You will be just fine. I won't you have a and your pops. So that may be about four tablespoons. Okay. Something like that. And I'm going to open this up and Sprinkle. Sprinkle me, man. Hey. <laughs> now I 
just about this and took the top off. <laughs> okay. There you go. Sprinkle it. Make sure you get your flour well seasoned again because we did not season the chicken. We just seasoned this milk batter. Your milk and egg batter. Garlic powder and onion powder. If you would like to add other seasonings to your flour, absolutely you can. Absolutely. I'm a sneeze. Bless you. Excuse me. Thank you. Send bless you's in the comments. <laughs> And some onion powder. And slap your mama, please. Uh, I'm not telling y'all to slap y'all mama. I'm just saying I'm trying to. I'm asking for a slap your mama season. <laughs> I could I could totally do that. But like I'm gonna give this a mix right quick. I may not have any slap your mama. I think I have Tony Sheshery's. That's what I have. And that's fine too. I'll add some of this Tony Sheshery's Creole seasoning to the mix. And then it's also going to get added when it comes out of the grease. The oil. Lord. That was about a tablespoon, I guess. Lord. <laughs> my version. My way. I'm going to have to lean and depend on the seasoned all garlic powder <clears throat> and onion powder. <clears throat> seasoning is got to me. Mix it up. Make sure that you are um, getting everything well incorporated, especially with the cornstarch. Um, you want to make sure that that's mixed in. And what I did was, uh, I think we had equal parts cornstarch to equal parts flour. Even when I fry chicken, I do equal parts flour and cornstarch for that crispy nice crispy bake we do have some oil on the stove that um, is getting ready to be heated up you want to make sure that your oil is nice and hot and let me have my bread knife please and the other cutting board all right, so that is ready to go. That is nice and seasoned. We're going to give you a close-up so you can see the seasonings in that flour. You want to be able to see that seasoning, and then when they when it cooks, you want to see the seasoning in on your crust. Yes. So that is ready to go. We're going to set that to the side just like the chicken. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, um, let me have a wet paper towel as well, right quick. We're going to cut up our Kaiser rolls. And uh, get those buttered so we can get them toasted for our, uh, for our sandwich. Give me just one second here. I dropped something. The butter. The butter. I dropped it. The one thing that you need <laughs> is oh. butter. <laughs> is butter. Butter. And what did you do? <laughs> you dropped it. <laughs> All right, just wiping my hands off with this wet paper towel. And this is going to go pretty quick, you guys, because I'm just showing you guys the chicken. And, uh, you know, it is what a TI is. So we're going to open up our bread. 
couple of Kaiser rolls. They smell really good. And like they say on Ratatouille, it's not the look or the taste of the bread. It's what? The sound. It's cutting like saw. Sawing into it though. <laughs> Well, that's a bread knife. So I'm going to cut up these. Cut them up. And I'm going to butter them. And then what we're going to do is meet you at the stove. Shall we? Okay. No, I'll show you guys how to how I flour this up and everything. So... Wow. Um, we're gonna heat, go ahead and get the oil heated up. I hope y'all can see all of this. Yep. Bear with us, you guys. We got like a new ring light and we're trying to get fancy. Put out some better quality videos for you guys. I think that that's, that's good enough. That's one, two, three, four. Yay! Uh -uh. <laughs> Cut this up. We're going to butter these, and I'm going to see you guys at the griddle when we toast them up. Be right back. All right, so we are back. I've got my oil over here heating up. Um, I went from a low to about a medium low, and we've got our Kaiser rolls already buttered. And I'm going to go ahead and put them on the grill. Because we want to get those nice and toasty. I turn my grill down to like a medium, medium high heat for both burners. Make sure they get nice and toasty. check my oil not quite ready turn it up some because once we're done toasting these buns we're gonna be ready to fry the chicken up okay we're gonna be ready to fry chicken once the buns are toasted they're not gonna take long at all and it depends on how toasty you want them. I don't want mine to be like, you know, extremely hard. Y'all know what? Tripping. Give me my hands. Give me my hands. Yeah, that one's not. I want that one to be a little more. Yeah, buddy. That what I'm talking about. Like myself. No, oh, Lord. Alrighty, let that get a little toasted on the other side, like so. That's one side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. It also softened the bones up some too when I did it like this. Amy, all right. All right. All right. Do 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 the last couple. Get those toasty. I'm gonna turn the oil up now to like a medium high heat on our um, oil. This is just some canola oil. I put a little bit of old grease with some new grease.
if you want to just use um see how quick that's going it's not taking long at all you use whatever oil that you normally use when you fry your chicken up I'm gonna get a little bit more toast on toastedness on this one so I'll put it over here that one's ready to go Alrighty. So all of our buns are nice and toasted. We're gonna go over here and check our oil one more time and see if it is ready to go. And it is not still, but in the meantime, in between time, can y'all see this? Let's move in a little closer. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and batter up our chicken. Remember, we did buttermilk, we seasoned it with some hot sauce, some uh, seasonal, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and I think that was it. Is with, and some eggs, we did a couple of eggs. So you wanna make sure you get all of your, get, get a nice, you don't want it to be soaking wet going in your, in your flour mixture. Get it on down in there. Make sure you get it coated really well. Y'all, listen. I'm trying to be cute with these tones. Ain't nobody got time. I got to use my hands. And get on in there. Make sure you coat it really nicely. Every little piece, you want to make sure that your chicken is coated. Every little section of your chicken, make sure that it's coated nicely. See that? I'm missing a section. And if you want it to go right back in here, do a double dip. You can go right on back in here and then come back to your flour mixture and do a double dip. But I think this will be just fine. Let me check my oil one more time. It's still not quite how I'm ready. I want it to be. Let me get my my thermometer. Put that in there. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep battering these up. And then as soon as we're ready to put them in, once the oil gets hot enough. And be patient, you guys. Be patient with that oil because you want to make sure that that oil is hot enough so that you're not dunking these in there and your stuff just start floating around waiting for the oil to get hot then you have soft yucky crust so just be patient I'm going to batter I'm probably going to try to do four of them at a time so I'm going to batter up one more and when we are ready to go we will be right right back. See you in just a minute. 
Okay, so we are back and we are about to go in with these, with my version of Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm just making sure that they are nice and floured. My oil is definitely hot enough. Shake off that excess. Going in. I've been frying in the oven. Last one in. And we took them for a little deep fry. So we're going to make sure that those, are, those get all the way done. All over, both sides. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave y'all with that right there. I'm not even gonna say nothing else. I'm gonna just let y'all let y'all see that fry. That's on a, a a medium high heat, right there. A medium high heat. And I'm gonna just be back in the background, wiping down, clean, clearing my area, cleaning up a little bit. I tell you what, they smell good. They smell absolutely good. Delicioso. I think Popeyes is, is like about to get put out of business again. Put out of business? What do you mean again? Another, another, another. I prefer Chick-fil-A myself. Another place we getting, getting ready to get put out of business. Because the first one, chicken and dumplings, those days got put out of business. Oh, you're talking about that I'm cooking. Oh, then I'm about to put Popeye's out of business. Okay, well, maybe I'll take that. <laughs> I might just take that one right there. I just don't think that it could be better than Chick-fil-A. So, you know. Well, you know what? Hey, I'm going to let Chick-fil-A have this because I love Chick-fil-A. I do. Let's see what that Y'all comment in the, in the comment section whether you like... Chick-fil-A or Popeye? Which one do you like the best? I love Chick-fil-A. I really do. Period. Hands down. Um, their spicy chicken sandwich. I love, I love Chick-fil-A, period, but I love their spicy chicken sandwich. I like their customer service. Okay. Ooh, that looks so delicious. I feel like this should be a commercial. Forget Popeyes. That's what I'm going to say. Popeyes, too. Here is. Here is Ancient Mama. Who is Ancient Mama? Here is Ancient Mama's version. She ate your that. mama. Like, um, that's a ah! She ain't your mama. She my mama. Like, um, one that I take out the black round. Black round. That's one. With the hole. Take out or oh, that one with, with all those holes in it. Nope, it's in You guys, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna turn these over because I want to get a nice look at that golden brown. Look at this. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and they're still nice and juicy.
Nice and juicy. So when these are ready, we are going to come back and show you how to put one of these bad boys together. But you see what it's looking like and it is almost done give it just a little bit and it's going to almost be ready to go so we will be right back okay you guys we just came back briefly so i can show you guys what these look like coming out of this hot grease y'all see that nice golden brown now I'm going to take this right here, this Tony Shesheries, and I'm going to hit him. Hit him with that Tony Shesheries right there, just for some extra kick. Extra kick. And another kick. And then my what you want to do, what's the important thing to do, is you're going to go in here in your grease and take out any of the little residuals, because that's going to change the quality of your chicken, of your dish. Take out all of those extra little... There's not very many, but as you see, there is some. I'm going to take those out of there. Just fish them out so you can make, and then they'll give your oil time to come back up to temperature as well. Yeah, see, we fished them all out before we go in with our next batch, which is our last batch. Ain't that something? And then, now when we come back, for real this time, we're going to be putting it together. So I'm going to go in with my last batch here. I'll let you guys see this last batch go in. Make sure you get it nice and coated. Shake off any excess flour. And we will be back when we put this together. See you in just a moment. It's going to be good, y'all. Y'all, this is going to be delicious. Alrighty, we are back. We're about to put this chicken sandwich together. We are going to use some mayo. I have some Kraft Real Mayonnaise. Use whatever you see fit to use. Oops. We're going to get Curtis to do a mukbang for you guys. Let's see while he burn his mouth up. Like he did on the uh, chicken and dumpling video. That was hilarious. Come on, that ain't funny. Y'all wait till y'all see those edits. Oh, Lord. <laughs> replay, replay, replay. Slow ah. motion. All right. So, I'm going to go in with some lettuce. I'm using some green leaf lettuce, some tomato, make sure we got some tomato in every bite. Would you like some onions a little bit? I would love to have some steak breast. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and we got to have pickles. I think they just had pickles on there, you guys. I, this is my rendition. Remember that. My friend. Comment hashtag below. Uh, comment below hashtag Fine China if you love our Fine China. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So 
I will choose this wonderful piece right here. Stick that right on top. Ooh, y'all, y'all can see the seasonings up in that mug. Y'all can see the seasoning up in that chicken. Popeyes, who? Hold on, let me make it pretty. Y'all better get your life together and get in your kitchen and make you a Popeyes. Let's have Curtis do his mukbang. Shall we? Be right back. Hello, I am the producer, Curtis. I'm behind the scenes, making people laugh, whatever. <laughs> and he's going in for the taste test of my rendition. Of Popeye's chicken, spicy chicken. He's going in for the taste. I don't know how I should eat this stuff. Can you just eat it, please? Try to take a bite this time. You zoom in. The crunchy. Come on, give us a description. Well, definitely got the spicy element. <laughs> Is it real bad? No. It's like they hit you in the back of the throat type thing. But when it hits you, it burns your mouth. That's why I said pray for my mouth. Please. On the other hand, tastes really good. The bread is soft. Chicken's crunchy. It's not soggy. If it was soggy, I'm still gonna eat it, but anyway. How's the flavor profile? Well, everything matches together. Did I do good? Is that? That's some steam. Oh, I gotta look at the grill profile. Still hot? That first thing I seen when I first saw it was just standing there, just going like that. I'm like, ooh. But so you everything guys, goes together. Curtis approves. I want you guys to try this recipe out and comment. Let me know what y'all's came out like. Did you do something different? Did you put some cheese on yours? Because I'm gonna put some cheese on mine, and um, which I'll show you some pictures at the end of of what mine look like. And I'm gonna have avocado on mine too. So. Uh, make sure that you click that like button for your girl. Subscribe if you have not already. Try this recipe out. Let me know what you think. And we will see you on the next video. Holla! Try.